Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Holt and this demonstration will focus on Microsoft PowerPoint and adding 3D models to your presentation. We will then learn how to rotate the 3D object by use of more transitions. And if you would like to continue to spruce up your PowerPoint, you can add animated annotations. To get things started, let's insert the 3D model that we segmented from our DICOM dataset and 3D Slicer. We'll go to Insert 3D Models from File, and we can click on our Lung OBJ and click Insert. Now you'll notice that the lung does not come in in a traditional anatomical position. We drag our lung into the window where we'd like to place it, we can double click and the 3D format options will be available. We click on the 3D model over here and we can click on our 3D model views. We can select a view that is closer to where we would like it and rotate it along the Z axis. There. Now our model is in a traditional AP position and we can now um, go on to using more transitions to animate the rotation of this model. The next step is to duplicate the slide. Right click, duplicate slide, and now we can rotate our model. I'm going to rotate it to show that the left lobe and we can add a morph transition. You see that the 3D model rotated to show a preview of what will happen when you advance the slide. The next step is to add annotations. Go back to the home menu and we can insert a shape. I'm going to draw a line here. I'm going to select the line and make it a darker color. I'm going to increase the thickness and I would like to end a circle instead of just a straight line. Now we can add a text box. I would like to make this text smaller. Now, that looks great. It's starting to look just like an anatomical illustration that you would see in a textbook. But since we are in PowerPoint, we can do something that's really nice and add animation. So if we click on the superior load text, we go into animations, and I want this text to fade in. And I think that's a little fast, so I'm going to increase this to one second. And I want my leader line to wipe on. But I don't want it to just wipe on from top to bottom. I want it to wipe on from left to right. So I click on the straight connector. I go from left and I want it to take one second. I also want this leader line to come on right after the text fades on. Now if we'd like to preview our animation, we can go into the slideshow menu and click present. You can see the morph transition there. See superior lobe, fade on screen, and we have our annotated leader line wiping on from left to right. Perfect. That'll be the end of this demonstration, and thank you for watching this tutorial.